Oh, Buck. Buck, you're in the rain. <gasps> oh, no. My Trans Am's outside. Uh oh. Oh, no. I needed to fix that quick. Let's get to it. Oh man, I gotta get that Trans Am in this garage quick. Start this up. Come on. Put this in gear. Try this. Oh man. That's. I don't want that. Oh man, I left the T tops off and everything. Oh no. Come on, start up. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, I'd like to inform everyone that my, uh, my behind is wet right now. Oh, man, I feel so stupid. I'm gonna have to find some towels and dry this off. Oh, man. Buck gonna have to feed you just got done drying off my uh, Trans Am I think I'm gonna basically air it out and to I want to drive it so I'm gonna have to uh, basically change my pants afterwards because uh, then that interior is a little wet I'm gonna drive over there we're gonna feed the cattle re really quick now I'm gonna take it for a little drive man I am so happy I found this Trans Am so I got it running and I left it outside in the rain, basically. Drive it over here. We've got to do some chores here really quickly. And then uh, hopefully we can take a little stroll. So I did get all my fields planted. So... Uh, off air I got all the fields planted so that field down there the field on across them trees I got a few fields over here so I got this grass field planted I got my alfalfa field planted so it looks like we might get to mowing here one of these days so uh, I'm gonna have to uh, look around and try to find a mower I noticed what the heck happened to this tractor here? How does that happen? I don't know. Man, do they ever take a lot of feed, that's for sure. We will uh, try to back this up, not get stuck again. There we go. We'll park this in our little shed here. Gotta get some more equipment so we can fill up our sheds. It's kind of embarrassing. Uh, this is our only tractor in the shed right now. We definitely need to worry about mowing because we do not have enough hay and everything for the cattle. So that is a huge concern right there. Ooh, yep. A little hard start in here. Oh, yeah. Ugh. I feel like Tim Allen right now. Alright. Put this thing in gear and have some fun. Even though our uh, behind's wet. Drive down here. So I'm just going to take a little stroll. Have the T-tops off here. Get a rolling now, man. It's almost like driving a motorcycle down the road. Love the wind in my hair. I'm driving down here, what exactly is going on over here? Huh. Something's going on right here. Looks like they're doing some construction. Huh. That's a little weird. I'm feeling a little snoopy, so I'm gonna go ask them exactly what they are doing over here. See 
what is going on. So, I'm going to be building a community right here. I'm going to try to build a little town. If you know this map, it doesn't really have a uh, any town or anything built on it. So, when I play roleplay, it's so much more entertaining, so much more easy to play with a little community. I'm going to try to build a little community. This is my first attempt of really building any type of community. I'll try. So, i uh, got a construction crew here, and uh, basically, uh, this crew is going to help us build, hopefully, something that looks like a little farm town. Something like that, I'm hoping. Lost, I was lost without any direction Had a line so many times But I needed attention No matter what I say No matter my regrets Things still been said and done mm -hmm. There's not a part of me That wants to say no mm -hmm. But I have real thoughts to let go, oh, oh, cause something's broken, and I'm the reason, it's not that easy, knowing you'll do better without me, without me, without me, mm -hmm. I have tried, oh, I have tried, yeah, to become better. But I thought again if I said it, it'll last forever. I know I make mistakes, it's just the way I am. That's why you have to know. Yeah, there's not a part of me that wants to say no. Mm -hmm. But I have realized, had to let go. Oh, oh. cause something's broken.
supposed to be as close as I wanna be. But if you go, I wanna go there with you. Yes, if you go, I wanna go there with you. Couldn't get him off my mind. I told him I want that great love, like standing in the middle of a bonfire. Don't know how you got there, but you hold tight, knowing that you can't get burned. Just tell me how we lost track of everything but each other. I honestly don't know. And tell me how we messed up, drifting away from each other. Didn't want to let you go. I just knew that he was special He said he wanna take it slow But I 
couldn't help that I wanted to take it to the next level Cause I wanted that great love Like standing in the middle of a bonfire You don't know how you got there but you hold tight Knowing that you can't get burned Just tell me how we lost track of everything but each other I honestly don't know And tell me how we messed up Drifting away from each other didn't day in late July and everything turned upside down I almost lost track of time as weeks went by I couldn't get him off my mind Okay, so this is our new town. We drive in, of course we got our Starbucks. I was really trying to put down a Taco Bell, but apparently my stomach or something else did not want it to go down. We got Dunkin' Donuts, 7-Eleven right here. So all this is right when you first come in, or this is the second entrance really. We got a uh, police department. I know that's not American, but uh, I think it's kind of cool to be honest. Pretty cool if you look inside here. Pretty uh, nifty. You got your uh, normal area right here. You got your uh, conference room, training room, whatever uh, I guess this could be. You got an uh, interview room. Uh, library I guess and then you got uh, the pampered prison cell right here and the door opens too quickly and you're on the toilet there might be a little uh, bang the knees so it's pretty cool how they set this all up 
I thought it was pretty nice. That's why I wanted to put it down, get some sweet uh, role plays with this. So you got all your uh, uh, training areas up here, I guess. I guess people watch TV a lot. Or this is a desk, maybe. Looks more like a TV to me. Uh, and then you got your uh, command center, which is pretty cool, I think. Listen to that old Trans Am purr out there. So this is just too cool in my mind. So I know ooh, you got your bulletin boards up there. I know this is all foreign language, but I thought this is one of the coolest uh, police, uh, basically, areas you can have. You got lights you can turn on. I think that's pretty cool. Got your little uh, break room there. My opinion, that's probably one of the coolest police departments. And then, of course, this is where you can have all your cars at. Police cars or anything you need. Then we got our big gas station. So we even got uh, buses that stop here. We got cars here, and you got all the gas uh, fill up stations you need. It has a semi area in the back or in the side, really. Pretty big gas station. So kind of nice right by the highway so it goes around got a little mud right there go around so I try to make this uh, basically as best as possible to look uh, natural so we go back around over here and if you hold on I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do basically the grounds eye view right now then I'm gonna do bird's eye view in a little bit. So this is uh, the town basically. Got the town area. We go around here. A little bouncy here. I'm gonna have to smooth this out a little bit. A little bouncy for Trans Am at least. So we go through this gate. So this is kind of, I want this, I kind of wanted this to be the repair area. You guys will have to let me know. Uh, so this is basically the repair shop. Oh, then they don't open up. That's a bummer. But that's what I envisioned that as. That's kind of why I put, you know, most repair shops, you see tires, you see everything all around. This is going to be the dealership right here. So I really was thinking on putting in a dealership, but a lot of the ones that I have really take, uh, let's say, some uh, frame rates. So they don't, they're not the easiest on frame rates, and I need to save every frame rate I can possibly have right now. So I kind of like the way this feels anyways. So park the cars right up here. You know, you display. We got our Ford symbol right there, V8. Uh, then you come back here, it's just the old rustic feel, the back, the farmyard right beside it. That's what I was trying to get at, at least. So, that is it. You guys will have to let me know if I hit this small town feeling or not. I was trying to, as best as possible, make it as realistic as possible. But I also had to deal with the mods I actually had and available. So don't have every single thing that I could make and do to make this really feel. But I think this kind of feels the most. I mean, obviously the business are going to get the prime real estate right here, right by the highway, right off of the highway. Bring people in, the Shell Station, the 7-Eleven, and the Starbucks kind of maybe a little bit unrealistic to have the police department but they would want to be close to respawn right by the highway too and then we kind of have the dealership in the background kind of thought about it later and I'm probably like uh, that really should be right by the road but 
oh well it's where it's at right now I kind of like the feel of it right now it's definitely not all one plane couldn't really get it to fit right if I put it around uh, right here or the highway and no one wants a dealership right next to them especially a small town feel right there Hope you all enjoyed Just something a little bit different than farming every day, but thank you all for watching, and I will see you later here in Missouri. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe.